Joining us for a conversation is Dr. Roger Moss, the CEO of Labrador Gold. Dr. Moss, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you very much, Maurice. It's, uh, it's great to be back on the show again. Happy to be speaking with you today as Labrador Gold has some high-grade results coming out of the Big Vein Target from the Kingsway Gold Project. Before we begin, Dr. Moss, please introduce us to Labrador Gold and the opportunity the company presents to shareholders. Yeah, sure. It's uh, as as the name implies, we're we're a gold exploration company with our origin really looking for gold in Labrador, um, starting in 2017, and we still have one project up in Labrador, which is which is a very good sec- second project, um, but the main the main flagship if you like right now is the is the kingsway project in newfoundland and that's uh that's where we've we've spent a lot of time over the last two years um doing our our basic grassroots exploration and now over the last year we've been uh, we've been drilling and i think really that's that's what uh that's what's driven the value in the, in the company over the last two years, um, since we picked up this property in March of March of 2020, so it's um, it's it's a very good it's a very good property in the middle of a of a modern day gold rush in this central part of Newfoundland, and um, you know we've we've been drilling and we've been hitting gold, and um, so far we've been fortunate in that we've had some some pretty good results. Well, speaking of drilling, Dr. Moss, take us to the flagship Kingsway Gold Project, where Labrador Gold has aggressively embarked on a 100,000-meter drill program, which has producing high-grade hits after hit after hit after hit. It's just a recurring theme, and this time in the form of 54.7 grams gold over nearly a meter. Congratulations. Please fill us in on the exciting details. Yeah, sure. I think, uh, you know, it, it's... We we have been getting some high grade uh, intersections from uh, from from Big Vein, and I think what what's exciting about it is is that it is along this this Appleton Fault Zone, which is where Newfound Gold are, is um, is also getting some incredible incredible results along this same fault system. So it's um, you know that that is looking good. We have. We have hit high grade at um, at Big Vein and in the HTC zone at Big Vein, so that's um, that's looking good. And uh, I think that we're continuing to expand it both along strike and down down plunge. And it, uh, you know, I think I think we're we're getting some interesting results. I have figure two displayed, and one of the recurring themes that I see at the Big Vein is what you just referenced. The strike length continues to extend. Please remind us just how long the strike length is, and is it open in all directions? Yes, it is open in all directions, and this today's news release was um, the, that uh, 54.17 grams a ton over just under a meter that was the furthest southwest intersection that we that we have had at of the Big Vein Zone. So right now it stretches over about 320 20 meters um, northeast southwest uh, in strike length along the um, along the Appleton Fault Zone. So we're we're um, we're pretty happy with that. It remains open, and uh, we also have quite a few more a few more holes to come from the lab in the area that we saw that intersection. Now, leaving the Big Vein, let's move about 800 meters northeast along the Appleton Fault Zone and visit the pristine target, and in particular, I would say the Doyle Zone, where Labrador Gold has just announced significant intersections of near-surface gold mineralization. Dr. Moss, fill us in. Yeah, well, the, the interesting thing about the, the pristine target and, and, the, and the Doyle Zone in particular is um, this this was a, a very grassroots exploration target. If you remember last year, we, we found, um, we, we took some till samples and the results from those till samples came back with pristine, with pristine gold grains in them, hence the name pristine target. And um, we, were, we were convinced that 
the source of those pristine gold grains was not too far away from where the samples were taken. So this drilling program is one that was testing up ice of where we took those, those samples. So I think for the first six holes to all have, have um, gold in them is, is very significant. Sure, the, the, the grades could be a little bit better, but remember, this was a blind target that we were that we were looking to find the source of those pristine gold grains. There was no outcrop here, and so I think that uh, those those first six holes are very encouraging, and I think we can uh, we can expect to see more and better and better grades as we get a better understanding of what we're looking at in this area. Dr. Moss, before we leave the project site. When might we receive some more assay results and from which target? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, finally there's a little bit of good news. The assays are coming in a little, a little quicker. We're probably looking at, um, at about two to three months now instead of the five months that we were looking at uh, earlier this year. So uh, there is some backlog being, being caught up and, uh, and, and that's, that's very encouraging. So. Um, you know, we, we are now getting assays from the lab that was sub, from samples that were submitted back in February. So um, we'll, we're, we're expecting to see a, a fairly continuous flow there. Um, in terms of where they're coming from, we have, we have samples in the lab, mostly from Big Vane, also from this pristine target, uh, but, also, but also from the, um, the Midway target where we announced uh, new, new gold discovery a couple of weeks ago. And of course, uh, Golden Glove, which is being drilled down near the southern boundary with newfound gold. Um, we have two, two holes there that, with samples in the lab. So we'll have, um, we'll have samples coming from, from all four drill targets over the next few months. Switching gears, let's look at some numbers. Dr. Moss, please provide the capital structure for Labrador Gold. Yeah, right. Right now, we have about 156 million shares outstanding, uh, 30, 39 million warrants, um, most of which uh, were in the money before today, um, and uh, seven, seven million auctions. So all, all told, there's about uh, two, just over 200 million shares fully diluted. And speaking of the share price, it has been taking a beating here lately, and I want to just share with my subscribers, I have been adding to my positions. Actually, as of yesterday, you know that I shared that with you. I fervently believe in the value proposition, and again, your team continues to produce results, and if the market wants to sleep here for a little bit, I'll stay awake. <laughs> that's great. That's great to know, Maurice, and I think that's, that's, uh, that's well said, and uh, obviously, Obviously, a lot of junior junior companies are, are, are taking a beating the last uh, the last few weeks, really, and uh, we're we're no different. But um, you know, it, the, the, and there's not there's not much we can do about it except uh, except carry on and and uh, trying to find more gold. Well, I think that probably takes the thunder from my next question is, which is what uh, would you like to say to shareholders? How about this, Dr. Moss? For someone that wants to learn more about Labrador Gold, please share the contact details. Yeah, the, the contact details are, um, we, our website is www.labradorgold.com and uh, we, do, we do have a, a pretty active Twitter account at, uh, at Lab Gold Corp. And as always, I, I refer your, your listeners to our um, YouTube channel and uh, there's a lot of videos on there, um, some behind the scenes taken from the core shack or out in the field in Newfoundland. And uh, of course, vid videos and interviews like this are also posted there. So um, keep an eye on, on our YouTube channel and uh, there, there's some good content there. Dr. Moss, it's been a pleasure speaking with you today. Wishing you and Labrador Gold the absolute best, sir. Thank you very much, Maurice. Always good to be here. Mutual, sir. The information presented on Proven and Probable is provided for educational and informational purposes only, without any express or implied warranty of any kind, including warranties of accuracy,
completeness or fitness for any particular purpose. The information is not intended to be and does not constitute financial, investment, or trading advice or any other advice. You should not make any financial, investment, or trading decision based on any of the information presented without first undertaking independent due diligence and consultation with a professional broker or competent financial advisor.